For our activity today, you'll be using a breadboard. A breadboard is made up of two areas of strips. In the center, we have the terminal strips. This is the main prototyping area that contains most of the electronic components, like LEDs or short wires. In the middle of the terminal strip, you'll see a notch running parallel to the long side, meant to mark the center line of the terminal strips. The five clips beneath the five holes in a row on each side of the notch are electrically connected. The five clipped columns on the left side of the notch are marked A through E, and separately, the ones on the right are marked F through J. Now looking back at the entire breadboard, along the edges are the bus strips which are used to provide power to the electronic components. A bus strip contains a red or positive column used to provide a supply voltage while the blue or negative column connects to the ground. Every hole vertically down each line of bus strip columns are electrically connected through their own metal clips beneath holes. A circuit is completed when all the desired strips form a loop connected sequentially.